Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Okay, it's Emma here. Um, today I'm going to be doing an SFX video. Um, I hope you enjoy. It's a little bit different to what we normally do and it's just me, so hopefully it's not awful. <laughs> so let's get into it. Um, first of all, I started by prepping with baby powder. It just helps the liquid latex stick to the skin. Um, it also creates a bit of a smoother base. So I'm just layering the latex here. I'm making sure that the bottom layer is the thinnest and I'm working in making it gradually thicker. This will help it blend into the skin a little bit nicer. You won't have such an obvious patch of latex. I'm now using cotton pads just to dab on some cotton and create some texture on top of the latex. Um, I'm still continuing to layer. Um, I'm just trying to create a little bit more of a rougher, dry skin effect. So now that it's dry, I'm just applying a little bit more baby powder just to mat the latex down. I'm now using um, foundation and just any skin colour creams really that you can use to blend the latex into your skin colour. I'm now using a camouflage palette which is basically just concealers, it's from the Crayola um, and you just layer them up with the lightest colours just to again blend it in nicer to your skin. Now cutting down the centre of the latex, um, you want to just widen it out and take extra off because we're going to open it up and make it a little bit deeper so just be careful not to cut your skin. <laughs> now using creams and powders, um, try not to use bright ones. I'm using creams first because they'll blend into the skin nicer around the edge um, and then I'm using darker powders towards the middle right near where the cut is. Um, I'm just um, again getting darker closer to the cut. I'm using black shadows and dark purples next to the incision. I want to make the skin look slightly burnt and dry. I'm now using cotton wool and I'm just pushing it into the sides of the cut to hold it open and create some more depth. Um, as you can see we can now see into the cut which holds it open a little bit nicer and gives a little bit more of a dramatic effect. And then using some latex just to seal it back so that the cotton wool doesn't stick out. Now using grease paint in black, red and dark brown just to cover up any skin or cotton that is actually in the cut. You don't want it to be exposed because it will ruin the effect. Now using some scab gel, um, I'm not going to use too much liquid blood with this because I again want it to look a little bit like an older cut and also I find scab gel a lot easier um, for SFX makeup because it doesn't get everywhere. Um, I do like liquid just to create a bruising effect like I am here and some smears. You can't really see this bit, um, but I am using hair grips to hold the wound shut. Um, you just need to gently push it through. If you notice that it's starting to pull the latex up from your skin, um, I would say use some tweezers to make a hole and then push the hair grip through. And I'm now just covering the whole thing with some more scab gel. That is it guys. Um, I, like I said, this might be really terrible. I don't ever do this on my own. <laughs> Um, but thanks very much for watching and if you like our channel please like and subscribe and leave us some comments for some video ideas that we can do together. Thank you very much for watching, bye!